In this video, we will study about another data structure called queue data structure. So it's similar to stack, but it follows last first in first out, unlike uh, the stack which followed last in first out. So in the real life, you can uh, relate it to a queue of people. Let's say people are uh, waiting in a queue to get a movie ticket. So the rule is that the person who came first in the queue, he will purchase the ticket first or he will get the uh, ticket first and that after that uh, the person will uh, be removed from the queue so the person who comes first is also removed first from the queue so this is first in first out the same order so let's see uh, the main operations which, which are very similar to the operations of stack so there we call the push operation but in the case of queue we call that nq it's similar to push but the term we use is nq and uh, let's enqueue a few elements in it so remember the order which uh, we are enqueuing so that you can uh, relate it when we are dequeuing it the order in which they are dequeued so first one comes initially the queue was empty then two then three after that then four so it's very similar to a uh, queue in a real life and this operation should take a constant time o of one we will just add the element in the end now let's look at the DQ operation, the reverse of NQ. So remember that one came first in the NQ operation, then two, then three, then four. So let's DQ first element. So one will be removed, the same order in which they were enqueued. Then two, then three, then four. Now there are no more elements in the queue. The queue is empty and it should also take over oh, one time. You should just remove the first element. Next front so in the case of stack uh, the function name was top here we call it front so front is the first person in the queue so this front operation is very useful in scheduling tasks like uh, here the people are standing in a queue so the only thing uh, the uh, uh, somebody processing the queue would be worried that what is the next element that i need to process so uh, that uh, would just call the front api and it will get the first element it's not worried about what's at the second place third place it's just worried about the front similarly in the case of uh, os scheduling some tasks there may be some queue where some tasks are enqueued and uh, while processing the tasks os is only worried about what is the next task that i need to process and again uh, this should take off one time it's just uh, looking at the front of the queue then uh, you can have empty so if the queue is empty or not, if there are no elements in the queue, as in the second case, it's empty. Otherwise, it's not empty. So the first one should return false. It should generally return 0 or 1 or true or false, depending on your implementation. Uh, so and the second case, it's empty. Again, O of 1. You can have many more uh, APIs like you want to get the size or uh, as per your requirement, you can add some custom APIs to your particular implementation of the queue. So that's all. See you in the next lesson.